Hi everyone, I'm Joel Johnson, the seed production technician at our Tucson Conservation Center. We wanted to take a minute and just take you behind the curtain a little bit and show you what happens next in the process after we've grown out a variety and harvested the seed. Um, we just finished harvesting lemon basil seed and we're bringing that into our seed lab where it'll stay on these drying racks for a couple weeks as the seed continues to dry out for distribution. You can see on these racks the rest of some of our monsoon grow outs of pinto beans and tepperies, panic grass, corn and cow peas. And these will dry here until they're ready to be separated for storage. In addition to seed drying, the seed lab is where we clean, process, and package seed for all of our distribution programs. General distribution, Native American seed request, and our partner farmer program. Um, in this room is where all of our seed packets are printed, um, and a, a team of staff and volunteers work to fill those. You can see the upcoming um, packages that need to be filled right here on our, our priority table, um, as well as cleaning seeds that come in through our partner farmer program or seeds that we grow out here on site. As soon as those seeds are cleaned and dried, um, they'll either go directly into our cold storage um, or they'll be sent out through our distribution programs. Seeds that do come into cold storage come into our main cold room and you can see here from our panel we've got a deep freeze and a general cool storage. And in our, our cold storage, this is going to open up the door here for us. This is where all our seeds in the collection that are prepped for distribution are going to come and stay. This includes seeds for our partner farmer program, our community seed grants, Native American seed request, and our general distribution. But in addition to our cold storage, we also have a deep freeze which is where seeds are going for long-term long storage. And this is the area where our original seed accessions and some of our regeneration samples stay for the longest term and most secure storage. Just opposite of our cold room is our germination chamber. And the germination chamber is where we regularly conduct germination tests to both assess the health of our collection seeds and to make sure that any of the seeds in our distribution programs are up to germination standards. Particularly for our partner farmer program, um, these numbers that we record from our germination tests help them get an idea of just how much of a particular variety they may need to seed in order to achieve good in-field germination.